Wow, uh, I have alarming news. Tupac's bodyguard, Frank Alexander, is dead. And what's more alarming is he died on uh, April 28th. They say, uh, I looked into it, I googled it, and they said he died of a gunshot wound to the head, e uh, either, some say suicide, some say accidental. Now, how the fuck do you accidentally shoot yourself in the head? I don't get that. I mean, what, you playing Russian roulette or some shit? I don't understand that. Man, I liked it, Frank. I like Frank Alexander. Uh, uh, I got to be introduced to Frank Alexander by reading his book on Got Your Back because at that time I was really uh, looking for information on Tupac and I, I do recommend Frank Alexander's book I Got Your Back because I like books that from people that actually knew Tupac. Um, another one Frank Gotcha Back is one of them and another one is another book that I like is from Tupac's childhood friend uh, childhood friend let me look that up right quick back in the day yes back in the day is another one I recommend back in the day and gotcha back now those two I recommend because these are people that actually knew Tupac I don't like reading books from people that don't know Tupac, didn't walk with him, didn't have a relationship with him. I don't read those type of books. But uh, Frank Alexander, his bodyguard, wrote a great book, man. I got your back. That book talks about how he met Tupac. Well, that, that book starts off with uh, his life and how he was in the Marines and uh, how he was... a um, like a prison guard or something like that. Uh, like shares, he worked for some like shares department CEO. He was some to that effect. It's been so long ago since I uh, read the book. It was about six years ago. Uh, and then uh, he went to be a bodyguard. He went to um, just be a bodyguard for some people. Then he 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 somehow met. He somehow. Uh, got the death row job being a bodyguard for death row I think his buddy uh, the security company he was working for his buddy uh, put him on with death row and that's how he got on that job that's how he got think he, he uh, applied at right way security which is a security company that death row had hired and um, so he started working for death row then later on Tupac then he started man body then later on Tupac liked him because he did because he did a great heroic feat with Snoop Dogg when he got Snoop Dogg out of at, uh, New York when they were shooting at him when he when they was filming uh New York New York and Tupac liked that story and Tupac him and Tupac became close and it's a great book man I suggest you read it read it and uh I got to know Frank Alexander to that through that book, and I was a big fan of Frank Alexander. Uh, with that through that whole book, it didn't implement Suge Knight in no way in that book. I agree with everything in that book. It was a total assessment of what happened that night when Pac got shot. He didn't implicate Suge Knight in none of that. He didn't implicate implicate nobody from Death Row. Later on, he started switching the story up. I, I wasn't a fan of that. I think he was switching the story up. With all this um, conspiracy theory shit, just to feed off the conspiracy theory nuts and get money off of them, just like the people and everybody, that, that just like when everybody else dies, just like when everybody dies nowadays, it's the Illuminati killed them. I mean, they just can't die a natural death. Celebrities just can't die, uh, you know, from a can't from a disease or from you know from old age or from or from whatever it gotta be the Illuminati killed them it gotta be that shit so I didn't agree with Frank Ellis I didn't uh, I wasn't a fan of Frank Alexander's later work I'm not a fan of the, of the should not kill Tupac theory I'm not a fan it just 
that just the dumbest shit to me. That just the stupidest fucking theory in the world to me. Like I said, I'm not a fan of that. And Frank Alexander fed into that that uh, theory, and he he actually promoted. He actually came out with a DVD um, supporting that theory. I think he, he was doing it to make money. Come on, let, let's just keep it real. It, he had the backing of a Phoenix Shakur. You know, she's not above making making more money off Pog. She's not above that. Uh, and Frank Alexander not above either. They both made money off that. I didn't agree with none of that. I didn't even. I I, I haven't even seen that. I don't. I really don't want to see it because it's just retarded. And Anton, Anton, Anton Beatty. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Anton Beatty, Beatty is a smart, intelligent debater, man. He just. I like this guy because he dissects all the two-part conspiracy theories. He dissects all that and make people look real stupid at the end of the day because Anton Beatty has a lot of knowledge. He has a lot of insight. He thinks the way I think. Uh, you know, I just want all the bullshit. I don't like bullshit, and Anton Beatty, Beatty will squash your bullshit. And uh, this, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description to Anton Beatty. He has a lot of Tupac videos. He's the real Tupac expert, in my opinion. He has a lot of great videos on Tupac. He has a lot of great videos on a lot of things. But uh, he kill, he he debates the Tupac conspiracy theory nuts, and he just destroys them. He destroys their little dumb theories, their little Illuminati theories. He kills all that. He 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 tells it straight down the line. But uh, and he was uh, and he he didn't agree with Frank Alexander's. Uh, he, he loved Frank Alexander's book like I did, but he didn't agree how Frank Alexander changed his story up later on. And so I'm a, I'm gonna put the link in the description to his video where he interviewing Frank Alexander about how he switched up his story. But uh, I'm sad for Frank Alex. I'm sad, man, that this guy died. Man, I really like this guy. This guy seemed to be a cool cat, man. R.I.P. Frank. And I, th I think I'm gonna uh, go read that book again. I suggest anybody out there that don't, that if you're a Tupac fan, you got to get that "Gotcha Back" book by Frank Alexander. Good read. Peace. R.I.P. Frank.